Now, one um, other point relating to brick stacking is when you're going around a warehouse that you're looking at to do an audit and um, it's a potential client customer or it's an existing client customer, but you're looking to take cost out of the supply chain or the cost of the boxes, whatever. If you come across some pallets that are brick stack like this, the first question I would ask somebody, and that maybe the warehouse manager or at least the sales manager who would get to know about all the complaints and things like that or returns, is do you get returns for your pallets? Uh, are they damaged when they arrive to wherever they've got to? Because um, if they say, no, we don't get any damage, then there's an opportunity there because that means that possibly the boxes are over spec in terms of the material because if they're surviving a brick stack um, journey and whoever knows that that might be a few hundred miles especially on the UK roads but if, it, if it's surviving a brick um, a journey brick stacks that means maybe you can take fiber out of the boxes because you can lose 30 40 percent say of the compression strength with box um, brick stacking so there's an opportunity there to say okay let's do some calculations if you did column stack uh, bearing all the weight down there on the top on the bottom layer and the safety factor etc can you take um, fiber out of this box can you reduce the material from say uh, <clears throat> 110 uh, 90 110 to 100 90 90 that's a bit of fiber out there it's a few pounds but per thousand but it's a still a few pounds per thousand and then you get the client to actually column stacked as I've mentioned before apart from the locking layers further up the pallet and that way you know that they're going to do the job because you've calculated the box compression and if they're not getting any returns or any damage they're arriving in good condition brick stack there's an opportunity to take fiber out so that's just one other point and one little tip um, for you to bear in mind when you're doing an audit Okay.